Hey everyone, how's it going? Broads here. I've had a couple of people ask how I mirror my device when I play games on Android, so let me show you what I'm using to do that. All right, so first things first, we need to enable USB debugging. So on my phone, I go into About Phone, and then go into the version, and then you tap Build Number seven times. So that's the same on all Androids. It's just a matter of finding that build number setting on your phone. And after that, we need to go into our developer options, which mine is in additional settings. And then from there, we scroll down and enable the USB debugging. All right, so now we need to download TC Games. So the link is in the description there. We head on over to the site, just simply click on download, and then we'll save the file and run that, install that, and then you're good to go. So let's open up TC Games. Mine's going to auto load into my phone. Yours will install an app onto your phone and then you have a couple of options to go through. Just follow through those. It's quite straightforward. And here we are. Bring to my phone. Now we've got a couple of options here. There's all the options on the sidebar. And then up the top here in the settings, these are the main ones for the quality. This is what I'm using to get a nice smooth stream. So as a VIP, you can play around with all of those as you wish. Now, let's hop into the key settings. To use these, you just simply just drag and drop. So we just dragged and dropped the joystick there. You can change the keys to whatever you wish. And then we can just do single clicks on the screen. In a key, you can also just drag as well, make drag cues. Along with that, you've also got some more advanced options. Um, here we also can share and download keys. So you can share your keys with other people. You can also download other people's keys. And you can rename your key and save it to whatever you wish. I haven't touched any of these advanced settings. Uh, some phones may require it, but I think for the most part, it's pretty good just to leave them alone. If we go into the download keys, so here is where you can share your keys, but then you can also download other keys that people have done, so you don't need to configure them yourself, which is pretty good, and nice and easy. Uh, we can also change the opacity of the keys, so you can have them on the screen, or you can hide them, or just have them barely visible. It's up to you. I like to hide them myself. And that's it for the screen mirroring, pretty straightforward. But then after that, you also need to do the audio. So for that, on Windows 10, I use Bluetooth audio receiver from the Windows 10 store. So just go in there, we'll grab that one. Just install that. And then we need to make sure we have Bluetooth enabled on our computer and Bluetooth enabled on our phone. We go into Home, Devices, Add Bluetooth Device. And then we click on our Android device there that's in the list. And then we want to make sure that the codes are the same on the phone and the Windows computer. We connect on both. Connect up there. And then we're ready to go to open up the Bluetooth audio receiver from here, it'll just bring up your device automatically and you just simply click on open connection. And then that will basically send all of the game audio onto your computer, which you can then use in OBS. All right, everyone, it's that simple. Look, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys need any other assistance. Um, I may have missed a couple steps just because I've already got it configured and I'm not going completely from scratch. Um, otherwise, yeah, enjoy guys. Take care.